So, so, so you're 16, going so on 17? I to be a CPA. Okay. Yeah, so I was going to be a CPA. And Wait a minute. Tell me, let's back up for a second. You're 16. Mm-hmm. When you hit the Xavier, were you still 16 or you turned 17 by this time? I was 16, but like a month into it, I turned 17. But I'm, are you one of the few youngest people yeah, yeah. at Xavier, though, at that youngest. age? I ain't seen nobody that young. Ever. I mean, you're not even an adult yet. You're not even 18 yet. Uh-uh. And how are people looking at you? They didn't know, but they was like, you Did know, you look like older than what you know, were? I look really young. I, man, when I see my younger pictures, I look really young. I looked even younger than I was. Mm. I had this, so I probably looked 14. Right. You know, I look really young. Okay. And um, so I'm in college. Yeah. So everybody in my family knows me as the nerd now. Now I'm the nerd because all I do is, my, I, if you see my high school transcript, straight A's in every subject all the way through. That's okay. how I ended up being valedictorian. So they was all, everybody in my family started knowing me for that. Okay. But and, you said you had an older sister. Uh-huh. But your older sister wasn't in college. She went to prison. My younger sister went to prison. They are on those on <laughs> It was I'm uh, telling people be thinking I be man. I'm telling you. I'm trying to tell y'all. People be thinking. Which understands why he said I was scared of them. I was right now. I'm scared of my sisters. Like my yeah. my young and older. There. I mean, my mom, my grand. Man, you do not disrespect. Yeah. Nobody in my family. Thus, you heard the time that there was a riot at one of my fights, right? I think I did. That that's one fight. of my. That's one of my questions. We'll get in that okay, a little bit yeah, later. Yeah, but yeah, but yeah, they was messing with them gangsters. But uh, so right now you're the only one. You're you're in college, CPA. Yeah. So then, while I'm in college, boom! I have a cousin that emerges. He is uh, my sister's. Four years older than me, so he's six years older than me. Okay, so so he's he, about 22, 23 at this time. Yeah, he ended up being a millionaire drug dealer. Okay. So only millionaire drug dealer we knew was my dad, mm-hmm. which I really didn't know. Him. And then for my cousin ends up doing it. So what he does is when I'm on my breaks, because I seen him at one of our uh, family functions. Mm-hmm. You know, like Christmas, we all go. Mm -hmm. Wherever my grandmother was, that's my grandmother ran the family. So everybody would come Thanksgiving, Christmas, whatever, Easter, anywhere my grandmother, the event. So when we go, then I see all my family that I never seen. Like, oh, how y'all been doing? So we at Christmas, whatever, and I see my cousin. And my cousin, now all of a sudden, he's like, he's moving up the ladder illegally. So he was like, hey, tough. You know, he's like, you want to ride me somewhere? And I was like, cool. So we went somewhere, and all of a sudden, he noticed that, man, I kind of like this guy. Like, even though we were cousins, we never hung out. Okay. And now that I'm getting older, mm-hmm. and he seemed kind of like, everybody know me as the nerd, but then we was hanging. He's, our personalities were meshing. Mm-hmm. So then... Next, I go back to school. Then when I come home, because you get spring break, Christmas mm-hmm. break, then summer. Okay. So anytime I wasn't at school, he wanted me to hang with him. And I come hang. I ain't had nothing else to do. Well, now his money going up. So now we driving, you know, Lexuses, Benzes. Mm. Later on, Ferraris. Yeah. Man, but like he has stuff like that. So was there any point in time you're in college and you're doing good, but you're hanging out with your cousin? Is there any point you said, mm, you know, I don't think this might not be a wise idea? Uh, Did that no, ever cross your it, mind? No, it was actually the opposite. It was actually the opposite. I started hanging with him too much and to the point where he would fly me. Oh. Mm-hmm. No, that's fine. Yeah. This is a Okay. Yeah. To the point that uh, he would fly me to where he was. Mm-hmm. Miami, New York, whatever, during my breaks. He never interfered with my school, but, like, during the breaks, yeah. he wanted me with him. So once, and then it got to the point where I was like, because, you know, all college kids are broke. Mm-hmm. So, you know, we all broke. Nobody got a car. We mean right. Roman noodles. You know how yeah, college yeah, kids are. Yeah. And so I would go from living this rich life hanging with my cousin to mm-hmm. back to school, like, right. where can we get a, a noodle from, you know? And right. it was like, I think I was too young to decipher. Mm. 
So I ended up staying with my cousin and miss going back to school one year. That's the only reason why I'm not some professional businessman. Wow. So then I got, I stayed with my cousin, and I didn't go back to school because he was like, look, we can make a million dollars in 90 days if we go nonstop. I was just a driver. So he's like, we go nonstop, city to city to city, back, no rest. So I was like, cool. And he said, I'll never put you in harm's way because you're going to be driving me around. And I wouldn't put my, because he the boss. You know, he got workers to take the chances and go do this. Mm-hmm. I'm just hanging with him. And basically all I did was drive him around and drive city to city. And then he would buy me suits. Because, you know, I went and met Bill Clinton because of uh, my private school. Mm. Uh, our senior trip or whatever yeah. was to the White House. And then I got to meet Kennedy and Clinton and all that crap. Wow. My cousin bought me, I remember, bought me three suits. And all that, so he would buy me suits. He would take me out. I wasn't even old enough to get in the clubs, but you know, he wow, paying yeah, them all. Yeah, yeah. We get in the clubs, so I was like really just hanging with him. Yeah, that was my job. I'm like besides driving. Yeah, and I didn't give a damn about that. So that's how I got out of school. Wow. And then and so fast forward, I, me and him fell out eventually because his right hand man who used to hang with him all the time, mm-hmm. but now I'm his cousin, you know? Right, right, right. So now, instead of him and his right-hand man going to the club, going to Miami, Shaw too. He tell, it's me and him, and he telling him, you go work Oklahoma, you go work Cali, you go, you're sending him yeah. like on worker missions. Yeah. And I'm just partying missions. Mm-hmm. Let's go work out. Yeah. That's how I got swollen. We Like, right. let's work out and go right. see some chicks. Like, I'm right. like, cool. So so then the, the right hand man uh-huh. started hating like you know uh, you know because he thought I yeah. but I wasn't threatening his position it was just maybe that position was more fun just hanging going to club than actually working sure so he had to start working and all that so um, he taught my cousin some lies about me and my cousin believed him mm. and we we stopped talking or whatever. <laughs> So, dude, <laughs> I just thought of the craziest story, okay? Yeah. But, uh, uh, so then we stopped talking, and so then I, I just, I already know the game. Yeah. So I just went on my own and started selling drugs. Oh, man. From scratch with no money, and then next thing you know, in 98, I made half a billion. That was, 98 was my best year, I swear to God. I love 1998. Yeah. You can't tell me nothing about it. That was the year my dad got out of prison. That was the best year I ever made money. Like, I just love night. The music that came out, mm-hmm. everything, 1998 was just... Wait a minute, so you made me think about something. So you start dabbling in it, mm-hmm. made a half a million that year. Mm-hmm. Your dad comes out, and he's looking like, son, you're doing the same thing yes. I just wanted to... and he didn't even know, and he couldn't believe it. I mean, he but was what's totally he... against it. That's what I was about to say. But I thought... He was gonna be happy for you. I thought he we would team up and do something. Cause together. he don't want you to waste your life. The plugs. Yeah. Cause he went in, you know, messing with the overseas and yeah. Colombian. Like right. I'm just messing with black folks. Yeah. So I'm like, he probably got the real plug. And you're like, what are you doing? Out. He got out. This line got my dad. Uh, it was kind of, I swear, and if you ever meet my dad, you'll know what I'm talking about. Um, okay, was, so your dad's still living? Yeah. Oh, okay. He be at the fights and stuff. He, oh, okay. Uh, he was like Malcolm X. He started, because my dad had the gift of gab. Okay. And he speaks really powerful. Okay. Really aggressive. And what he did was change that, you know, just for religion. Yeah, yeah. So now when he preach... Mm-hmm. It's like Malcolm X because they in the nation is okay. Them. So All it's right. the same teaching as Malcolm X. Yeah. So he be going in. So they told me your dad's getting out of prison. So I was like, I wonder how he looked because you know I ain't seen him from like six years old, seven year old, all the way to twenty one. 